thought it was a brilliant idea to go to Home Goods and smell every single candle and review it. You've all been waiting for it. No, we have not. Home Goods, translated to goods for your home. As we all know, Home Goods is very tightly packed and it's a mom's what dream. If you're into cozy, live, laugh, love vibes, this is your holy mecca. Starting to get worrying because we've been through like 10 aisles and there's no candles. Is this a hidden mystery game? Where are the candles? Wait. Uh, just like a dish. Even though it may have took 15 minutes, we found the first candle. Grandma's Kitchen by the brand Homesick. <laughs> That's a funny brand name, Homesick. You have a candle from this brand. Oh my god, I do! The one that's supposed to smell like Nebraska! That is good, like, so if your grandma's dead, like, you, you could always just smell it still. <laughs> Okay, potpourri is what it's called. That's what this candle smelled like, and actually, that does remind me of grandma's. It doesn't remind me of a grandma's kitchen, but it just reminds, reminds me of a grandma. This ranking system for this video is gonna be up or down. Up is heaven, where you live peacefully, and hell is where you born eternally, because you did bad shit. And this candle is actually gonna go up. Send that bitch to heaven. Aww. Number two, and we're not talking about shit. Red Leaf Home Borch Bauch. Smells like nothing. Yeah, not a single thing. This candle didn't say it was unscented. Uh, I just don't understand it, so it's obviously going down to hell with Satan. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn! Number three, pumpkin love. It actually doesn't smell like pumpkins. It more just smells like fruit, like a raspberry or something. But maybe this is what pumpkin love smells like. I've never witnessed pumpkins going at it, you know? This might be controversial since it doesn't even smell like pumpkin, but it's going to have it. Number four, pumpkin-shaped candle. These were a flop. Again, maybe they're unscented and just like little pumpkin decorations, but send them straight to Hades. Number five, sand and fog candles. I was actually really pissed smelling these because they had no scent so the, obviously they're going to hell later we did look more closely at the packaging and they do say unscented which really what the hell is the point of like the unscented candle okay yes it can produce produce warmth but we don't live no in a one. world anymore where we need warmth from candles at least where i live you get fucking um what is um heating he heating yeah what are you amish and amish people obviously wouldn't even go to home goods and what don't did even, they make homemade candles yeah i don't even know any amish people but if they went to home goods they're fake amish the unscented candle didn't have scent and i was mad number six adam blessings decoration candle this candle is probably unscented and i couldn't even really reach it so um it's going to hell i would maybe vote for this one to go to heaven because the look is at least cool enough for it not to have a smell but say in but take that bitch back and give it to her heaven can if i just saved something from hell i know that's nice of you you you're forgiving i'm not really that <laughs> forgiving number seven pumpkin patch it's probably a home goods brand candle like scotch if you don't know what a scotch is, I'll catch you up on that real quick. According to Urban Dictionary, this is the most delicious, compressed, chocolatey, peanut buttery, rice crispy, who the treat made by the sexiest womp. Okay, Urban Dictionary is dumb. It just is, I'm pretty sure it's a Midwest thing. Maybe it isn't and I'm completely wrong. It's a dessert and that's what oh, it smelled like. If it's you, so good. Yeah, it's peanut butter and chocolate, right? Crispy, But there's boom. something else in it. There's it's like, like another... a bunch of corn syrup, which is like really bad for you, but Is that what fine. the taste is? I know there's just one taste that's so good and the little brown thing on top. Oh, butterscotch. Oh, yeah, see, the butterscotch is what adds. It's mm. not just peanut butter and chocolate. It doesn't really fit the cat. Pumpkin patch, actually, it kind of does actually pit fit a pumpkin patch. Oh. So this is going to heaven. Number eight, pumpkin season. This one smelled like caramel and pumpkin. I was kind of thrown off. I was I was expecting more of a pumpkin pie. I, I like this candle. It's a good mix of flavors. You mean scents? Sense. I know. Yeah. I, they, yeah. They're, they're attached. So like, I kind of do feel like if you are smelling something, you are in a way tasting it. It's going to heaven. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, they were mad. I don't think they accepted that one up there. I know. Jesus threw that right out. <laughs> I, well, we wanted it to go to heaven. Maybe the creator didn't want it to go to heaven. Number nine, pumpkin sage. 
so many pumpkin candles, but it makes sense. We're going to this home goods in the month of October. I appreciated it. Oh, it's actually November right now, by the way. It's not October, but I feel like pumpkins still fit in because you know Thanksgiving. Yeah. Do you even know what sage is? Oh, isn't sage like even the energy? Yeah, that's how you get spirits away. I'm gonna imagine you're um, like Rico from Hannah Montana. See, just work out of a soft shop. Like, what do you even do? Okay. Are you still mad? I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I do feel more happy. To me, this is an odd flavor. Never heard of it. But just because it's odd doesn't mean you should close it off from forever smelling it. I had the open-mindedness open in me. I'll accept you, and even if I don't like you, you can still be a part of this world. And I end up liking it, so it's going to happen. Aww. By the way, thankfully, Jacob brought some coffee grounds in his pocket that we kept sniffing periodically to freshen the nostrils. That's what it's supposed to do, right? I went to Sephora once and I was smelling the scents and the lady said, like, smell the coffee in between. <sighs> Number 10, Thanksgiving candle. Oh. Oh. Mm. Bitchy girl in high school is better. Yeah, it had that exact smell. You all know it. That girl who invited you over once in high school and just as the bully. And it's fine. Maybe she's changed by now. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, I'm actually curious. Oh, send it to heaven. Because that is cool they caught that scent. You know, that's a rare scent. So bring it to heaven. I like how you're open-minded. Number 11, the spooky season candle. I was excited for a Halloween themed candle, but unfortunately it just smelled like cat piss. It smells like caramel with a little bit of cat piss. I'm not kidding. It wasn't horrible though. It was just the littlest minor hint of cat piss. So still something to hell though, because there shouldn't be any hints of cat piss. If I was alone by myself in a big city, if I had that candle, it would actually bring me closer to home because I remember whacking into our basement when we were little and it would always kind of smell a little bit like cat piss. Oh yeah, that, are, that, is, that would be a homesick candle for us. Number 12, Harvest candle. <sighs> peppermint or something? I actually don't think it is peppermint, but it has like that vibe. Yeah, if a candle's leaving me that confused, send it straight to the burning depths of hell. Number 13, Spooky Nights by the Light Candle Co. Jorgen's lotion. Yeah, um, this one's going to heaven. I love Jorgen's lotion. I don't really use it that often, but it reminds me of our mom after she showers, which is um, a pleasant smell to me. Also, that girl off Euphoria. Remember her and her mom were the face of Jorgen's? That's awesome. You know who else is awesome? You. Jorgen's. It also would smell like them, which is cool. Number 14, pumpkin love, but in a different color. Honestly, I, this is just a big expose. All of these home goods candles that have a name on the front, I'm pretty sure they just get these leftover can wax at the factory that no one's using and pour them into these candles. Because why do these pumpkin love candles smell different? If you get a pumpkin harvest at your home goods, it probably won't smell like our pumpkin harvest because it's just random wax in there. Wait, if you have a home goods level, I'm assuming there's like five of you that smelled every candle in home goods. Let us know if like your candle smells similar to ours or if what our theory is like because they do smell different that's not fake but i just want to know like yeah is, is our theory real or not with that being said this candle is going to heaven because i was actually quite pissed off and i realized they all smell different because then if i told my sister hey i love this candle you should buy it it might smell different did you say heaven or hell just now Hell. Did I say heaven? I actually don't know. I have to rewind the tapes. I meant hell. Okay. Number 15, Adam Fireside Harvest Candle Craft Co. <laughs> like a beach house Adam. So that's not really Adam, you know? It's like a Florida Adam. No that's Adam for some people. That's true. Not everyone lives in the Midwest. This one's going to hell just because this doesn't remind me of my Adam. Like, yes, if you lived in Malibu, this would remind you of your Adam, but that's not my Adam. So I guess I'm only just going to believe my own experience and bring it to hell. Number 16, maple pancake. And I did make the executive decision to like only name stuff that's important. If I don't think the brand is important, I'm not going to name it because hopefully yeah. you can read. Mm, yeah, it smells like a maple pancake, but pumpkin. It's going to heaven. I thought it was a good scent. Number 17, sweet red apple. This reminded me of your wife after she showers and it's getting dark out, so around seven o'clock at night. Oh, like an after work shower. Yeah, and one could argue I have no idea what this smells like, and I don't have any idea what this smells like. Yes, you could say, why doesn't it smell like a guy after they shower? Like, why are you always in a hetero sexual mindset, Jacob. Um, honestly, I don't know why, but that's what it smells like and it's actually gonna go to heaven. 
Number 18, white candle that's kind of shaped like a pumpkin. Now, I do think this candle should be in the Clarence because there's some dusty scratches on it. You know they're gonna try to pretend that was on purpose, so it's supposed to be weathered. Nope, we know people like didn't wipe their hands and it got crusty over time. Caramel pumpkin. Going to heaven! Ride the doves up to heaven. Number 19, a wicked candle. A compulsive liar. Like what their perfume would be. Send it to heaven. Because compulsive liars are the so entertaining. And wicked matches compulsive liars, yes. so the theme is there. Yeah, so it's not like it was pretending to be something it's not. Number 20, welcome Adam. Oh, I'm not kidding, Catholic church. We grew up going to Catholic church and yeah, it smelled exactly like that. Oh, <laughs> to do a little bit of a flip. Send it to hell. Because you would expect if it smells like church, it would go to heaven. Oh. No. Down, down, down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? down. down. <laughs> Number 21, morning pumpkin. The first thing that came to my mind was on the porch with an old person. Mm. Just like reminiscing. Yeah, I know that's not a scent, but that's the vibe it gives off and it's going to sparkly heaven. Number 22, Live, Laugh, Love, Pumpkin Patch. Um, I mean, I've been Live, Laugh, Loving the whole day. So it didn't really change much. It smells like pumpkin with a little bit of lotion in it. Is it low vibrational? No, it's like medium vibrations. This candle's going to heaven. Even though you only said it was medium vibrations. But yeah, I guess that, that goes to heaven. Maybe I have low standards. Number 23, Gnome Sweet Gnome. <laughs> I like what they did there. <laughs> I know, it's just like, cute and fun, funny. It's just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's like mint, but so mint that it kind of smells like butthole. I don't understand how you even got there. How can it be so mint it smells like butthole? <laughs> you haven't been through what I've been through. It's going to heaven because the name is absolutely hysterical. And that's yeah. not a joke, guys. I actually do think that's like clever and funny. It is like cute. Yeah. I feel like everyone lately has been against like cute stuff. Like saying, why do people have live, laugh, love in their house? Or like home sweet home. But it's like, it's cute. Like just be honest. It is easy to make fun of. I know. It's just so corny. Yeah. Maybe I am just a corny person though. We've smelled too many Adam pumpkin candles. So we need to find a new section. Sounds good. Number, Number 24, 24, sugared citrus. <laughs> Someone who's doused themselves in Victoria's Secret stuff. It smells pretty good though. Yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah, go to heaven. We, yeah. We both enjoyed it. Finally, we made it to the holy grail of candles, the honey hole of candles in home goods. <sighs> so many candles. Number 25, modern blue candle. Public restroom. A clean one at the beach. I would send that to heaven because it's probably a candle to put in your guest bathroom. Number 26, the power of natural healing, but in a candle. The ultimate spa experience. Not only did it smell good, it had little crystals in it. It just gave me like CBD vibes. Someone that's 40 years old and has three kids and was like, CBD, let's try it. <laughs> they tried it and it absolutely did nothing, but they got a placebo that it did something. I know, that it changes was literally their life. our dad. <laughs> our dad used to rub this CBD like oil on his legs and stuff. Or where did he rub it? <laughs> a knees and stuff. Yeah, I but think. it was like, then we did a test and we found that it was just olive oil. I'm just kidding, we never did tests, but I just know, I know it wasn't actually CBD because there's this weird store that closed down. Him and our mom committed and they were like, it just changed our lives. <laughs> they didn't say that. This is going to heaven or hell. I would say heaven. Oh, okay. I just love that vibe of like spa, like relaxation type of thing. Even like if it is fake, like you said, a placebo effect. Number 27, ocean and sea salt. We were visiting Los Angeles a few weeks ago and we stayed at this place <laughs> and I smelled it and I was actually wowed because it smelled exactly like that place. Yeah. And the, and the scent is probably like a place that tries to smell like a fancy hotel or is a fancy hotel. It's gonna go to heaven. Like, I don't even know what this scent is, but it's a good scent. It's like womanly, but also manly. I feel like it's more masculine than feminine, actually. It's like upscale hotel that's trying to be like modern. Mmm, yeah. Number 28, pomegranate and cedar wood. Um, yeah, I, I actually love this one. You could just see the joy on my face. That was a genuine reaction. I should have bought this candle, but I didn't. Going to heaven, it's going up, up, up and away. 
Number 29, Bamboo and Eucalyptus. This candle I had high hopes for because Bamboo reminds me of pandas and I used to have an obsess obsession with pandas. Oh yeah, you're a panda person. Yeah, and then Eucalyptus is like spas. Oh yeah, this one also smells like a clean restroom. Like I'm truly in love right now. If someone had this in their house, I feel like certain people would be like, why does your house smell like a spa? But I personally like yeah. it. And that's all that matters. I'm going like to it, heaven. It'd be more for like a bedroom or a bathroom. So that's like a general living room would be kind of weird. It would be kind of weird, especially in a kitchen. And yet it doesn't fit the, the aura. Number 30, Hazma Hand Candle. Me and Lucas were both like, okay, it doesn't have a name. It's like a spiritual candle. I honestly didn't know what that symbol was called, but I Googled it and it's called a Hazma Hand. The Hazma Hand is universally known for uniting the good, dispelling the bad, bringing about positive energy, and thwarting negative energies. In general, it just is a positive vibes. Oh, I like that. Hand. I'm not really getting spirits. I'm getting more like fake bitch vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't like calling people fake because I'm pretty sure we're all just in our own experience. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's going to heaven because the hazma hand just seems very powerful. So I'm sending it to heaven. Just let it go. 31, sand and fog maroon candle. Yes, we knew it was unscented and it smells unscented and just unscented candles sound so dumb to me. I'm still gonna bring it to heaven because this time I actually knew it was unscented and I was like, I appreciate what they're doing. There's literally a row of unscented candles so I'm assuming some bitch likes them out there. Number 32, sparkling cranberry. This one kinda smelled like cranberry but it was very faint. If you're like allergic to scents, which I don't know why you would be because Jesus gave us scents. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Like this would be good for someone that gets overwhelmed by scents. Oh, it's just a little hint of a scent. But for me, I'm obviously sending that bitch to Satanville. Number 33, eucalypt <laughs> eucalyptus lavender. I was just genuinely curious at this point. This was like my second eucalyptus candle. What does eucalyptus do? And it says that it relieves nose and chest congestion, increases calm brain waves. With that being said, this candle gave me such a strong vibration of this spa. It's called a spa, but it's actually an undercover gay sex bathhouse. But the reason why it grosses me out is because it reminded me so much of those come all over this seat at this bathhouse. And they, they were like, we wiped it down and it still smells like cum. And then the manager was like, okay, put a eucalyptus put this eucalyptus lavender candle there. So with that being said, I'm still gonna put it to heaven because it smells good, but I just couldn't get this image out of my head of like, some were smelling so much like cum and then they put this everywhere to make it not smell like cum. So for people only would buy that candle to cover up a, a bad smell. Yeah. 34, patchouli and smoke. <laughs> I didn't know what patchouli was, and I'm saying put patchouli because that's what Google said. That's how you say it, and it's a flower that's in like the mint family. It reminded me so much of a modern westerner, like you know those 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 those, those western movies where like people like mm. I'm gonna bring it down and like there's like smoke everywhere yeah, and boys. guns. Yeah, it reminded me of that, but in the modern day, I didn't really like it, but you said you liked it a lot. Yeah, I said if somebody smelled like this, I would think they were cool. But for my own house and my own body, I wouldn't want it to smell like this. Let's send it to heaven because we can accept those people that mm. like smelling like this. You can enjoy heaven. A thousand doves are flying them up to heaven. Number 35, aged leather. Perverted barber. Like they'd be barbering your hair and saying, yeah, look at this photo of this thick bitch who like, I'm gonna F this weekend. And it's like, oh. I just don't like that. Yeah, send it straight to hell. They keep talking about like boobs and stuff. Number 36, date night. Recently divorced 37 year old male apartment. Heaven. Number 37, Fireside Coconut Blend Wax Candle. Someone who says that they love you but don't, doesn't mean it, they just want to get in your pants. <laughs> I would say heaven, because it's like, well, I guess they're lying to you, but yeah, heaven. Yeah, I just think they just haven't developed fully or something. Yeah, they're immature. They don't deserve hell, though. <laughs> Number 38, Patchouli and Tobacco. 
And yeah, it just smells like, yeah, someone from like the 1950s. So many male offices smelled like this in the 1950s. I would say send it to hell. I do sometimes like the smell of like cigarettes. Is that actually how tobacco smells? Because it actually smelled good. Like, you know, bowling alleys, like that smell of cigarettes? Yeah. It didn't smell like that. <laughs> this is more of like an upscale version of cigarettes. Yeah. I'm just even sending it to hell for fun. 49, white chocolate mocha, freshly brewed aroma. I was down for the jokes only on this video, but can we please be serious for once? Ha ha, coffee's brewed. Scents aren't brewed. Want a world where people can be serious, you know? They even went as much of a prank to make this one look like a coffee cup. What if someone actually put that in the microwave and drank it? Yeah, could lead to death to infants and elderly and middle-aged people. Wait, I should touch I hope. It's very faint. It's going to hell. Flickety, fuckity, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Number 40, happy holiday, balsam and fall. I didn't know what balsam and fall were, but I just Googled it and it showed pictures of like pine trees and stuff. So I'm just assuming. Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, this was like a pine tree. Absolutely love this smell because it reminds me of our childhood house where we had so many pine trees on the side. Oh yeah. And we used to like during the winter climb them and jump off. And I fully realized that Candles are such a big business and they're so lovely because they actually have an ability to bring you back to other times. Like, you know how food can bring you back to mm. like previous experiences? I feel like yeah. scents can do that too. And it's going to heaven. Well, that was really wholesome. 41, sea spray with a cheetah print lid. I wish they made cologne that smelled like this. Good. Bring it to heaven. Even if it smelled bad, I would bring it to heaven because of the cheetah print lid. So what does it smell like? We still don't know. Just like the buckle. <laughs> 42, Slay Hill. Slay. Get it? <laughs> hell. You're not okay with people yeah. slaying anymore? I am okay with it, but I just, in this moment right now, I'm saying hell and I'm gonna listen to that. 43, Coconut Wax Holiday Joy Candle. Get in the mindset of, um, you had three kids and left your family. And now you're just mad, you know? Oh, sorry, see if it gives me joy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm not kidding. I don't know who that's for, but I wouldn't get along with them. I don't know what these certain scents are that were in these certain holiday candles. They immediately just rubbed me so wrong. Rubbed me raw. Mm. You hated it too. Yeah, I hated it. Send it straight to hell. Like, I can't believe people like that. 44, wild honey nectar. Sip this pussy like nectar. First of all, save the bees. <laughs> mm. Is it hypocritical that I said save the bees and I'm smelling a honey candle? Because I'm assuming collecting honey actually doesn't save the bees, right? I guess like they might feel good like making it. They're like, oh, that we have a use, you know? <laughs> it's, I love it. Um, it smells like orange to me. I didn't smell honey, but I did smell orange and it's going to heaven. We've been at Home Goods probably for an hour and a half at this point, and we both started to just realize how funny these candles are. Snowy sleigh ride, chasing fly or flies, the date night candle. We've all experienced this thing in life where the image is better than the reality. Yeah, the candles are better than the reality. Like, what's this one say? Holiday cookie. But making holiday cookies sounds so fun! Christmas music, hanging out with family. Horrible when it actually yeah, happens. Yeah, then you eat the cookies and you get diabetes. Yeah. 45, new home. This one also smelled like a fancy modern hip hotel. Heaven. Wonders. We had to take a break. My senses were getting overloaded. I wanted accurate reviews, so it was a good idea to take a 10 minute break. Yeah, it was weird because so much vigorous sniffing did almost give me a headache. Yes, yeah, so we needed a little take five, go explore the furniture, which actually ended up triggering us because we saw this chair, which at first glance you'd think, cute, fun, an egg chair with fur. You can't even sit up straight in it. And it cost $400. Like it wasn't comfortable at all, but you know when you see it, you're like, oh my God, the coziest little cocoon. It wasn't that at all. Bye. Back to sniffing these candles. 46, Birchwood Coconut and Beeswax Blend. Beeswax? <laughs> <laughs> what do people used to say about that? They, it, was, it used to be like a joke in elementary school. It's like, school. get your beeswax out of your ears because you can't hear. Oh, wasn't it? None of your beeswax. Oh, none of your beeswax, yeah. Is that a business? 
Oh, it smells like really fresh. They like want to be on Real Housewives of Dallas so bad. Why did I think of some lady that wanted to be on Real Housewives of Dallas so bad? I don't know, but I thought of that and um, it's going to heaven. I mean, everyone's, everyone should be capable of having goals and that's their goal. 47, Pine and Clementine. Yeah, this is, I like it. I'm gonna have to call Jacob out. So this is a coconut blend candle. And I was just under the impression, oh, they use coconuts as like the blend. It should smell like coconut. But I Googled it because I was curious. And coconut blend means it was made with coconut oil. Now I've used coconut oil before and it doesn't smell like coconuts. This little kid Jacob has such a tiny brain that he imagined coconut because he saw a coconut. Or did it actually smell like coconut and whoever made this candle didn't understand that. So they said, okay, get the little scent of coconut in it too. That's true. Cause I still think I smelled coconut. But I guess yeah. I just have to deal with the fact that it's not coconut, even though I still believe it is. <laughs> it's going to hell because I'm now I'm just confused. Yeah, now. it added a drama to your life. 48 Christmas spirit. God, the ones that try to get you into Christmas smell so bad. Despicable. Send it straight to hell. I wish I actually looked like the details of these candles because I want to know what's in it that makes it smell that bad. It's such a turn off. Sexually, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. 49 homemade hot cocoa in the exact same little coffee cup cute thing. Hated it completely because I realized chocolate candles are bad. I've noticed this before in my previous experiences. I love chocolate, but if something smells like chocolate, it's so gross. Hell. 50 spiced apple crumb. It's a Saturday at the pumpkin patch. You get home and some apple crumb waiting in the oven. Oh, this one just really brought my energies up. So straight to heaven. There's something about crisps and crumb desserts that are just so good to me. Like berry crumble, like little, what's it called? Like cobbler. Any dessert has cobbler in it, like a crisp cobbler, a crumb cobbler. Those are just always so good. So. Yeah, this this candle really did it for me. So many Christmas candles. Like, can we just all admit the holidays were fun when we were younger? <laughs> now they aren't fun. Stop trying to get Christmas spirit candles to put you in the Christmas spirit. If you're not actually genuinely in the Christmas spirit without the Christmas spirit candle, just accept and move on that it's done. 51, Winter Wilderness. First of all, can we just pay attention to the photo on the front? It shows people camping and there's a bear. Although it seems so pretty and stuff, it's actually not pretty because you have the high probability of dying in that scenario. Yeah, so the bear comes to the tent, eats your kids, beats your wife up, and then kills you, rips you up. We're supposed to be looking forward to that. <laughs> What's this smell? It smells good though. I like that. Um, oh, hotel bathroom. Minty. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. It's going to help. 52, Evergreen 4. Mmm, <laughs> smells like pine trees with some like sweet no in it. It's good. Oh. I like it. Oh, that's the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's so funny because we just both talked so much shit about these holiday candles, but we loved this one. Yeah, it was just pine trees. Oh, I actually take kind of take back what I said. Like having this in a room during the holidays would actually just like make me like just more presently happy. Yeah, like I'd really know like it's the holidays, you know? Which would like en enlighten my soul or something. Yeah, shit. for sure. Sometimes you do need a reminder. It's going to heaven, by the way. I actually am sorry, but this one has to go to purgatory before just because that little like thing in the top of the <laughs> candle, like I feel like they need to be questioned about that for a little bit. Yeah. 53, citrus wreath. It looks exactly like Yankee candle. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, they get a pass. It smells like pretty good. It smells like citrus with like some pines. It's going to heaven. 54, all is bright. Oh, um, what's that smell? Peppermint? Oh. Like those one red little things you use as the, <gasps> the snowman nose. Red hot tamales, like mm -hmm. cinnamon. Um, it's going to hell because as I think about it more and more, having your whole house smell like cinnamon, red hot tamales actually sounds disgusting to me. Like that's a little bit too much. I also don't like the look of it really. Too glittery. Yeah, it didn't really fit the vibe of the red hot tamales either. Could have been red glitter. Yeah. 55, Christmas cookie candle. One of those candles where the design is just so cute. Oh yeah, um, it smells like vanilla. 
Oh, vanilla candles you can never go wrong with. Good old vanilla candle, which is my, probably my favorite type of candles are vanilla ones. I'm a little vanilla bitch. No, people say that's a bad thing. You're so vanilla. Oh yeah, it means like you're just so basic. Like, you don't do anything original. That's me. Like I just love vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to happen. 56, book club. I was excited about this because I'm a little bit of a reader. It smells like someone's apartment who <laughs> tries to make everything offensive. This was the aura that I got from what you said. Someone that tries to make everything offensive, but they aren't trying to do good from that. They're just trying to bring people yeah, down. Like is that what to, it like, is? Trying to trick people into doing something that they say is offensive, even though it actually isn't. You know what I mean? I don't even have an example or anything, but that's the vibe it gave me. And I'm gonna bring it to heaven, actually, because I feel like there needs to be some drama in heaven. That's true. It's too happy. Yeah. Though. Number 57, Juniper Berry Sage Candle. I didn't know what Juniper Berry was, but I got that's a type of berry. Oh, this one's good. I've smelled it before. Kind of like um, spring. The packaging is really cool. Yes, go straight to heaven. No questions asked. We're done with the candle aisle. We're gonna move to the Clarence aisle to check out the quote unquote shitty candles. But that's our subjective. 58 spooky spiced cocoa. Is it spooky? Oh. No, it just smells like caramel. Oh, like a Snickers latte. I like how there's nothing in it that makes it spooky. Like there's no spooky scent, but I, it's just a different theme, you know, to fit the Halloween era and it's going to heaven. But you're bringing a spooky candle that potentially could have demons in it because demons are spooky to heaven. That's weird. That's a dichotomy. 59, sand and fag orange candle. Yeah, it's unscented. I guess this brand is like the queen of unscented candles. It's going to heaven because I like how big it is. It's bright. Enjoy heaven. 60, ocean candle thing. It smells like nothing, but it's cool. Oh yeah, the decorations are kind of lit. <laughs> it's going to heaven because I like the like fake aquarium ocean thing around it. 61, spider candle. Oh, it just smells like hotel. Elevator. The itsy bitsy yeah. spider yeah, up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spiders out. Out came the sun and dries up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went away. <laughs> I like how you were so disappointed saying, it just smells like a hotel. No. Like, what did you think it would smell like? Like a I spider know. or something? Yeah, I know you can say I'm so dumb, but I actually thought it would somehow <laughs> smell like a spider. <laughs> we don't even know what that smells like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it has to go to hell because it didn't live up to my expectations. Oh, you were just really mad in that clip. 62, Tahitian vanilla. So nice. I'm assuming this is for Tahiti, which is like that place by Bora Bora or whatever, a little island. <laughs> it just smells like caramel. <laughs> smells like caramel. <laughs> but that smells like Iowa. That's not Tahiti. I would picture Tahiti as like ocean, sea salt, yeah. a little bit like drugs mixed in. Salmon. It smells like, it smells like none of that salmon. Yeah. <laughs> Just not like Kansas. Actually, it's going to heaven because this brand tried it. 63, smoked vanilla. Mm, no. It smells like your family's home is burning and there's nothing you can do and the fire department hasn't gotten there. It smells like depression. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Go to hell. We were done with the clearance section. Now we're gonna go to the section by the checkouts. Mm. The first candle we smelled was number 64, and it's literally called Smells Like Pumpkin Spice. It actually doesn't really. Love the obvious name, but it actually didn't smell like pumpkin spice, so go to hell for lying. 65, Cigar Lounge. <sighs> I don't think cigars smell like this, but... That's not what a cigar smells like. No. I actually am going to send this one to heaven because although it didn't actually smell like cigars, it smelled like the idea of cigars. 66. Nature's Wick 3 Scent Candle. Uh, um, I just smell the false layer, but that's obvious. Yeah. That's disappointing. That just pisses me off because I, for some reason, thought I'd be able to smell all three layers. And this is actually a hack. If you're this candle company and you create a big batch of candles that absolutely suck, put them in a three-wick candle and put, them up, put the bad scent at the bottom because no one's going to smell it. Oh, yeah, you can't smell that till you already buy it and they get your little cash. Yeah, so put it in hell, please. 67, big pineapple candle. Oh, uh, I mean, it smells like um, fruit snacks. It's going to heaven. I like fruit snacks. Little fruity one. 
I know, a little bit gay. 68, cozy candle. No, it smells like spices, like cooking spices. Why, why does it? Yeah, yeah, just go, just go to heaven right now. Heaven? No, hell. When I picture cozy, I'm picturing like the smell of cupcakes and cookies and cobblers. I'm not picturing the smell of like Cajun. I know, that's not cozy. That's like getting ready to eat, but it ain't cozy. Yeah, that reminds me of like shots of vodka and tequila. Yeah, just like energetic vibes. Yeah. 69, Harvest Moon. Um, it's lotion with a little bit of witch. Mmm. -hmm. Good. It's going to heaven. It was actually like kind of interesting, like witch and lotion. But yeah, basically a witch trying to masturbate, if we're being honest. Oh, yeah, with a little lotion out and everything ready. Ready to bust. Lucas and Jacob exposed. We didn't smell every candle, but that is hilarious that we happened to smell exactly 69 candles. Because we weren't counting. That proves that we did something right. High five. After two hours of smelling candles, we decided to wait in the long home goods line. It literally was like a Disneyland ride, a line. <laughs> I know. I got twin. <laughs> Tranquility. I got the richly scented spiced apple truffle. To end this journey, we're gonna light off the candles. Ah. Ain't nothing better than a candle and your loved one. Bye. We're gonna be enjoying the rest of the afternoon. With our little kiddos. See you next time, hopefully. <laughs> it's always a pleasure.